Hey guys, I'm uh, back with the Amazon Fire TV. Got a little different setup than last time. I'm actually running a USB splitter hooked into my USB port on my Amazon Fire TV. And this is running my keyboard slash mouse, my Logitech K400, what you've seen in my uh, video past if you watched. If not, go check it out. I'm also going to talk about the external storage. I got a SanDisk 32 gig running, and I want to show you. I'm going to show you quickly how to sideload apps. Um, there are other videos out there. I'm just kind of showing you to make a fluid video. And what I want to show you is that after you sideload the file manager, you can actually sideload the apps. Instead of sideloading the app, sorry, you can actually install the app straight off the USB drive on your Amazon Fire. So you can plug this USB drive into your computer, put a, put 5, 10 APKs, you know, whatever you want to put on there, plug it in, go through your file manager that you're going, I'm going to show you how to install, and then you can install each one of those apps and you can manage it. So say if you want to install an app and then to save space, you can you know go back and forth you can put these apps on the USB drive and install them on the USB drive um, this is gonna kinda open up might be a little bit easier for you I know some people don't like to go through the command prompt and they get confused so if you can make it through the command prompt once then this will make it easier for you so let me just show you some initial steps we're going to have to take when you go into your settings tab and you're gonna wanna go to your system and you're gonna go to your network actually sorry you're gonna to go to about and then you go to network now you're gonna need this right here which is your IP address you're gonna need that um, so write that down on a piece of paper you're also gonna to wanna to go back and you're gonna go down to developer options and you're gonna to wanna to enable ADB debugging and enable apps from unknown sources um, just enable these two so that the app from unknown sources is so that you could download from an external device. I don't know if you need to do this anymore, but I would say just enable it because it will make your life easier. That way you don't have to go back and do it later. Um, and you do want to keep the USB debugging off because that will just shut all your USB devices off and that will be no good for you. Alright, once you do this, we're going to go back to the computer and I'm going to show you as quickly as possible how to install these apps. I can ask, answer any questions if anyone gets caught up and try to help you out as much as possible as I have in the past videos. Alright, so let me um, go back to the computer and I'll show you a little bit. Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm going to show you how to sideload apps, um, specifically ES File Explorer. You're going to go download this, I'll give you the link. And once this setup comes up, it's going to ask you a few questions. Um, you're pretty much going to say yes to all of them. This is just installing it. Yes, we want to install. Yes, we want it on system wide. Um, it's going to copy four files down. And then we do want to install the device driver, so something's going to pop up. This is just the Google driver, and you're going to, you could always trust it or just trust it this time. So that's, now you have the drivers and everything set up. You can delete that or keep it if you want. You're going to go to the internet browser. And I'm just closing a few tabs here. Um, you're going to want to go find that app. So you're going to want to go to the ES, find Google ES File Explorer, File Manager, APK. Um, I can also put the link in to where to go download it. That way you don't have to search for it. Um, but you just can click on the first link there, go down, and just download that file. So you want to open up the CMD, um, the command prompt, type in ADB space connect space and then the IP address that you wrote down for your Amazon Fire which is on your network. Now you're going to see it's going to boot up the daemon and all that stuff. Yeah. So now what you want to do, your next command is going to be installing the actual application to the device. So you can right click on the application file and you can go to properties. And you want to open a notepad or something, um, you can paste in your location of the actual file. And then you're going to want to put add one more uh, backslash. And then you want to copy the name of the file. I like to have no spaces in it. Um, it just makes it less confusing. It's just easier to copy and paste. So just take all the spaces out of the name and make sure you change it on the actual file and then select OK. Now you're going to want to copy this whole uh, link there too as well. And then type in adb space install space and then put make sure you put your comma in there um, 
and then just if you click on that button or you can right click and you can go to paste um, and just put it in quotes is what I mean not commas make sure there's no spaces now just press enter and you're gonna see it's gonna transfer that file um, and I already have it installed on my device but I'll show you another one which is steam the steam app um, I'm just gonna change the name here to like Steam. All right, so I'll show you again. So you do ADB space install space quote, and then right click. You can go paste. Um, then another end quote, and then just I'm gonna change the name because I had the old. Let's change that to Steam, and then just hit enter. All right, so then that see that's successful and it's very quick. Um, and now I'm going to show you and go back to the Amazon Fire and I can show you how to install the apps. Um, but first I'll just show you that <clears throat> what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your flash drive will be in here and you're going to want to take those APK files that you downloaded on your desktop and you want to drag those onto your flash drive. Um, you could just go on Google and you can just search, you know, whatever it is, Mozilla. Firefox, APK, and they'll usually one link you can kind of grab down there and you can go in and just go to Zippy Share and just download it. And obviously, I mean, these are all free apps, so, you know, you're not taking anything. It's just a free app, but they just don't offer it on the Amazon market, which is unfortunate. Um, eventually, they probably will when they get more support, but this is kind of a workaround. Um, and then you just drag those, you can put those on. And I will go to the uh, Amazon Fire and show you what to do. Okay, now that we're back at the Amazon Fire TV, I still have my USB drive hooked up, but I just want to show you how to safely remove it so that you don't, so that you know how to. Um, you go into your system and you go down to USB storage, you click on that. And you can see right here, you can look at your status, you can manage the installed apps on it and you can also eject it. So once you click eject, it's going to tell you, okay, these apps will no longer, be, no longer be available for you. And then you can just hit eject. And I think you can now safely eject. So now we can eject our USB drive. Great. And then we want to plug that back in. So you just went through the whole tutorial and you probably put some APK files on your actual flash drive. So now what you're going to do is you're going to plug your flash drive in just like I did. Now this is probably going to help if you do have some sort of USB splitter like this. It does not need to be powered. Um, that way you can run your keyboard and you can run your actual flash drive so you can do multi so now it's going to scan it, it's going to say okay you've mounted your device um, and it might say that it's scanning for newly installed apps or any installed apps um, but you probably don't have anything on right now because you just have those two APK files so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually go to our applications and we're going to go into manage installed after you've side loaded the ES file explorer as I showed you before so right now at this point you have your file explorer and you also have APK files that are on your flash drive so once you go into the file explorer you can launch this application alright so then this is where the keyboard comes in handy um, you go to your go to your home so it's probably gonna look something like this so you're gonna wanna go to your home page alright and when you go up here you can click on this arrow and you can go down to external storage alright so these are those two APKs that I actually put on here um, and this stuff is just stuff that came with the actual sand disk just default I haven't even formatted it yet so once you go in here, say uh, this valve, I click on that once, and I can go over and it's going to say, do I, what do I want to do, and I want to install. So it's going to say, oh yeah, you need to, this stuff needs to go in, oops, I think I did it there. I use the arrows on this, um, makes it easier, you can use the default thing, you go down and just click install, 
app installed, open, test it out, and that app is installed on my Amazon Fire through my USB drive through this USB splitter while my keyboard still works and is running. And you can go ahead and log into your Steam if you wanted, and then you could just go back to the default. And then when you go down to your settings and applications, and you go here, the next time you can see that you can launch uh, Steam right here. Still works. And then you can even move this over to your USB drive if you want. So now it's actually on my USB drive. And you can see that the app loads really fast on the USB drive. So yeah, so if anyone else needs any more help, um, I hope this video is not too long and that you guys learned something that I helped you out. Thanks.